Hello guys, so welcome back. In this video, we're going to build the user interface for the Augmented Reality Weather app. And we'll do this in SwiftUI. So you can see I've got my new SwiftUI project here and with the live preview on the right. So firstly, for this user interface for the AR app, we would need a search bar over here at the top and a toggle button on the bottom to toggle the search bar view on and off. Delete the hello world text. So first, let's create the search bar. For that, I'll create a new struct call it search bar and this would inherit from view and because it inherits from view we would also need to implement the protocol functions one of which is var body some view and let me just indent this right and copy paste that and let's name this search toggle and great so now we've got two separate subviews for both the search bar and the search toggle. Let's just call this in the main content view here. Oops, search bar and search toggle. Great, so that's all done. Now let's implement and design each of these views. So for the search bar, what we want is we want a horizontal stack with the search icon on the left and the right, the search input text. Let's create those. So let's first create a H stack and this would have in it the search icon and then the search text. Now for the search icon, we'll use the image component. So the image component get a SF symbol. So we'll use the magnifying glass SF symbol. So this would be system name and magnifying glass. Let's just add a placeholder here so it won't crash. Hello. Now let's try building this. So we can see the search bar icon here, but of course it looks a bit too small. So let's just modify this. Let's change the size of this image by changing the font. We change the font here because it's the SF symbol, not an image. So we add system size and 30. Now you can see the image, which is an SF symbol, would grow bigger by changing the font size. Now for the input text, we will use a text field. And we'll use this one right here. So this is the one with the onCommit method, and I'll explain why we need that soon. But for now, add the title to search. The text, I just created a state variable here called search text, and let's add that here, search text. And this would contain the text that the user is inputting. And whenever the typing is in progress, we don't really need to do anything. So let's just create value and say print typing in progress. One common method, when the user has finished typing the text, we need to store whatever is contained here inside another variable, which we will pass on to the main view where we'll do some additional logic. So to store the completed input text, the final city name that the user wants to search for, we will create another variable, but this time a binding variable called city name. This will be of type string. And over here, once the user has finished typing the text, we will assign the city name to be whatever the user has inputted, i.e. the search text. So this way, the final city name would be stored in this variable, which is a binding variable, which means we can link it to some other view by calling a state variable. So because we want to use the city name in this main view, because later on we'll use that to fetch the weather data, we'll add in a state variable here. So let's add in a state variable. State var, we'll call this city name. And this would be of type string, and we'll just initialize it with London as a default. Now, if we call search bar again, there's the option for the binding variable. And what we're doing here essentially is to link up this variable to this one, so that it's the same. So whenever this gets updated, this would be updated as well, and we can use this in this view to do whatever. That's how we pass on uh, data between views. Awesome, so I'll just pass this here as the city name. So now every time the user finishes inputting the text for the city name, the final city name would be stored here and we can do stuff with that later. So let's try building this, see if all's working. Oh, we need to add the var key, but we forgot that. So let's just fix that, it should be working fine now. I can click on the search bar and type text there. And when I enter, the final name would be contained in this variable. So now let's add in the search toggle. So let's go down here to the search toggle subview. 
and right now here there's a placeholder text let's remove that and in here what we'll do is we'll create a simple button and when we click on this button we want this uh, search bar to be toggled on and off so let's create a button uh, this one so the action i.e. what happens when the button is clicked we want to toggle the view and here we will instead of a label we will use uh, the same magnifying glass image for that I'm going to use the same SF symbol the magnifying glass and now we should be able to see the search toggle here but we can't because of course if we go to the main view we'll notice that right now the search bar and the search toggle buttons are overlaid on top of each other we want them to be vertically stacked with as much space in between them as possible to create as much space in between them as possible we'll add in a spacer and then we would wrap both these views under a vstack to stack them vertically copy all this inside the vstack now we should be able to see the search bar on top as you can see here and the toggle button on the bottom and the spacer widens the gap as much as possible between them great so now the views are looking fine now let's continue working on the search toggle button so we created the button here now let's create the toggle logic so what we want to do is we don't want to toggle the view the search bar view here instead we want to pass the toggle status up to this main view and here we'll add some logic to toggle the search bar on and off so let's create a binding variable here because we want to pass this to the main view called is search toggled this would be of type bool and here when the buttons click we will toggle the status of this variable so we would is search toggle equals exclamation mark is search toggle great now we want to pass this uh, toggle status back to the main view and for that again let's create a state variable here we're going to name it is search bar visible and this would be of type bro and by default it should be true because we want it to be visible when the app starts and now what we can do is when we call our search toggle subview here we can do so with the binding variable is search toggle and for that we'll pass this state variable here so is search bar visible every time the button is clicked here this boolean variable will be toggled on and off and based on that we can choose to whether to display this or not so let's add that logic here, the display logic. And that's quite simple. We'll just do if it's true, then we will render the search bar view. Let's try viewing this in the live preview. And now if you notice, when I click the toggle button, it toggles off. And when I click toggle again, it toggles on. Great, that looks fine now. Now finally, let's just tidy everything up and make things look a bit nicer. First of all, I want to create padding around the search bar. Right now it looks too tuck up there. So I'll go back to my search bar view and I'll collapse the H stack. First, I'm gonna just keep the search bar to around maximum width of 500. So frame max width colon 500. And now it should look a bit better. So I'm gonna create some padding around all the sides. Great, now it's already looking much better. Search toggle version, I want the color of this image to be black just to make it a little bit nicer foreground color color dot black and that looks nice and let's just also make this a bit bigger change from 30 to 40 awesome so now if i click it turns off click again comes back on but right now it's toggling on and off abruptly but i want the search bar to appear and disappear more smoothly so to do that add some animation first find out where the condition is changing which informs SwiftUI to re-render this view on and off and that's essentially in this toggle uh, setting here where we toggle this variable on and off so what I want to do here is wrap this around with animation so now every time the search bar is toggled it will do so with an animation and we can specify the animation here under the search bar in the main view so I'll choose transition dot scale I try again if I click build again it shows build failed let's see what the error is oh that's because I made a mistake here this is supposed to be a bracket so now if I click build again it should work awesome so let's try again 
And now if I toggle the view on and off, you can see it's doing so with a nice animation. The background color of the search bar to an opaque black, that would make it a bit, look a bit nicer. So for that, what I'm going to do is go back to the search bar subview here and add in background to color dot black and I'm going to change the opacity to about 0 0.25. Now I can toggle this on and off, on and off with a nice animation. And next video, what we'll do is we will use the text and put it here, i.e. the city name passed onto the content view and we'll use that to fetch the weather data for that particular city.